Welcome to another Mobotics video tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to configure the Mobotics Certified Barcode app. First, we need to activate the certified apps. For that, we need to go to the Set menu, scroll down, and click on Certified App Settings. Check the box next to the arming to activate, and press the Set button. Now we need to find the barcode app. Scroll down until you locate it. Check the box to select it, and then press Set button to activate it. Then you need to locate the app again and click on it to go to the app settings. Here we will see the general settings. Depending on your needs, you can set the number of expected codes in the full range, time delay between detecting the same code, the resolution, and which sensor you want to use. Under the visualization settings, you can enable or disable the display of the detected barcodes and the display of the calibration grid if required. Afterwards, you need to set your detection area. You can also use a code filter if needed, so that for example, any recognizes any code listed below. 2D recognizes two-dimensional codes. 1D recognizes one-dimensional codes. Stacked code recognizes stacked or one above another codes. To set the area, press Edit Rectangle. Select the area that you want to detect codes and press the confirmation button. Again, here you can change per detection area the number of expected codes and the sensor. You can increase the sensitivity for hard to read codes. By selecting the display information report, a window will appear that will show the detected codes. Also, you can select the location of this box. We offer four different code export modes. You can use our MX message system, send messages to Mobotics Hub, send HTTP JSON messages, or use an Mobbus TCP client. In this tutorial, we will use only the MX message mode. If you are happy with the configuration, press set and close to store it permanently. Let's do a quick test and see how the app works. At first, we are putting a box with a single barcode on it, and in the next test, you will see several boxes with more than one and with different types of codes being recognized really quickly and very accurately. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.